Right, so I give a bit of a uh, alien storm a shot. Uh, <coughs> play maybe play through a few games from the console that kind of defined my childhood, the uh, Genesis to Americans or the Mega Drive to the rest of the world, probably. <coughs> but anyway, this is a game that I don't think I've actually heard talked about all that much. But it was a big game for me when I was a kid. Yeah. Selection of three guys. It's kind of like future alien golden axe, I guess. <laughs> There's like some chick with a flamethrower, some red guy with some bray gun that they forced me to pick, so I'm gonna reset it because I don't like him. So you're gonna have to put up with this again. Okay, here we are again. And I'm gonna choose the robot, because he obviously kicks the most ass. Or at least that was always what I thought ever since I was a kid. <laughs> Boom, see that? Scary shit. Gremlins, these big fat blokes. What, what the fuck are they supposed to be? And I just blew it. Whoops. Yeah, that was his special move. You can see there's... You can't really jump just normally. You've got this roll move. And you can do a jump bullshit out of it. It kind of works to uh, dodge stuff, but yeah, this robot guy is pretty cool with his whip and he's got some kind of cool moves. He fires a rocket out of his back and uses his foot. Oh shit. At stuff. And if you actually do the dodge with them, I think you do jump for most characters. Definitely for this one. And you just overhead shot. Didn't really ever play with the other characters on that one. When I was a kid. Just this robot, that would be so cool. <coughs> what the fuck is that? Like, that green shit that came out it was like morph, a green morph coming out of these. Stuff of nightmares, if I'm frankly honest. These things are buck toothed stuff of nightmares. I don't really know why this game isn't talked about as much because. Ah, and here we go. A cool little uh, shooty section, I guess. You have to shoot these spiked footballs while chickens run around and you shoot batteries that come out of boxes. Because, as we all know, shooting batteries is the most efficient way to collect batteries. You. Honestly, don't go to the shop and use that. Also works with medipacks. You know, we go to the doctors, shoot the place up. That's generally how medicine works. Or the pharmacy, I think so. Because the doctors don't, don't carry that much medicine. I mean, trust me, I've tried. So there we go, a short little very easy shooty section. Expel the aliens. And this, this time we play as the uh, headmaster. And these are naughty student aliens. I think that's the idea anyway. See that explode in midair. Just stands there and just explodes. Like just stops time, stands up, and boom. These little red gremlin fuck butts. They go down pretty pretty easily for the most part. It's kind of just another sort of Streets of Rage side-scrolling thing, but I played it a hell of a lot as a kid. I got I, I remember getting really far one day, and it'd be one of those days when, you know, I'd, I'd never really even got close to completing it before. Uh, maybe because I got bored so far through. But anyway, this day, I got further than I ever managed to get before. And it was one of those where, you know, my parents were like, you need to go here, you need to go there, whatever. And I was like, no, I must play this game. Because I was at one of the later bits, and I think it ended up with them coming in and turning it off, because obviously parents don't really understand the grueling hard work it takes. I just think modern parents, unless they're gamers, also suffer from that. But they don't really know how difficult it is sometimes. 
get to a safe point. I mean, these days, you know, the days back then, you can't say it was like, you start the game, you finish the game. So, it was a little bit more taxing. It is pretty damn easy, I mean, I'm only just really getting much of a challenge going on, and I'm already... What the fuck? Oh yeah, now they start running. Fun. Mini boss time. Forgot about this, but... And that was silly. Continue. Oop. So, you gotta get away from his... But lightning and his fuck knows lightning and he's, he, he shoots smoke out of his witch's crone eyes. Witch crone, whatever. This 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 shit is weird. Like this is very bizarre. Like look at the design. It, it, it's really bizarre. Like whoever thought this up was. Fucking mentalists. Sorry if you're the person that thought this up. But you're a fucking mental. Like what is going on here? So I'm some weird alien there's this face butt zappy mini boss bullshit. It's got like an alien butt with what is that called? It's like a, like almost like a suction cup butt. And then these weird fingers, tentacle fingers for moving around. Drag, drag, drag. But then it's like a, a handhold pipe. And ugh, it's just freaky. And then it turns into loads of little uh, face flies. As is the case with anything that well. Oh, and here we go. Here's the uh, third type of section. It's just some running gun in. Crap. Do that jump? Yeah, you actually fix to wherever you uh, left the jump when you go past this. If you can't move, you fix on one line. You jump here quite fine. This is probably where a turbo fire would come pretty handy. Do you have a turbo fire, but none of it works. It just like freaks out whenever I plug it in. Just starts pressing start on and off. Oh god damn it, these things. What the hell are they for a start? They've got licky tongues, mosquito legs, and mosquito legs? Like, mosquito wings, they don't have any legs whatsoever. they just got big ass hands. This is a running thing, like, these alien snails that use whatever objects are nearby. So, like, trash cans, mail boxes, bonanza. There's a bonanza in there. So they should just do this, jump from side to side. Oh, they got me. Shit, it's a green one. Whoa. It's like a yellowy green snot snail. Snot snail. Snot snail. That much is true. It is not a snail. These are not dragonflies. But everything seems to be based on, well, apart from the gremlins, which are based on gremlins, let's let's be honest here, they are fucking gremlins. But the majority of stuff here is just it's pretty insect based, from what we've seen so far, apart from that thing that will forever haunt my dreams. I, I don't know, well, I guess I did have some pretty fucked up thoughts when I was a kid about my, my parents being killed by aliens and replaced and stuff like that. And maybe part of that comes from this game. Because there's those fat guys that turn into I'm not saying that like my parents are both weird faced fat guys, but they're not. 
but there was some of this. Through the door into the convenience! I'm gonna go buy some convenience. Oh, you can't shoot the people, I forgot. Good job, I didn't. Ah! Get that health. There's a bonanza of bullets in here. Ho, 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 ho. Lame joke. Daily. What? What? They spit tennis balls with mouths and. Dust moats at you. I think that's what they call dust moats. Whoa, whoa, tennis balls with mouths. It's that big thing in the back there. Oi, predator dude. Predator dude, there we go, sir. Does look like a. What? So this one starts here? No? I cannot tell whether they're aliens or not when they run past like that. Especially the big guys, because they look like the ones that morph into these things. Yeah, they morphed into these, didn't they? He's <laughs> just like how he runs on for his head. <laughs> I just imagine whenever the cra whenever the camera moves forward, there's just like a line of of robot bodies just waiting there. Run past and slash. Ah. Double magma breath. Lava breath. Double lava breath. Oh. Shit, son. I got him in the, uh... Pattern now. <laughs> the, the the thuds are so white, <laughs> and those bubbling sounds definitely don't help to make it seem like anything major is happening. Whoa, magma breath. What did I say? Lava breath. Whatever. I can direct. I can stand on top of it, but they jump out of it like. It's like oh, I'm still in the manhole. I guess that was one of the problems with the. Uh, 16 bit area. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sega electric station, maybe? I don't know, the help is covering. Oh, well, Sega electric store. Is it an electric store? Is it a Sega? Did Sega ever have electric stores? <laughs> Obviously well known for selling electric. Having TVs. Selling TVs. Are they meant to be arcade cameras? We'll find out in a minute when we're in there. It did look like it pretty much sold TVs. <laughs> it's a little like extendable fist. <laughs> it's very comical. <laughs> oh shit. I've got one more credit left, and I've got very little life. Oh, there's usually some life pickups inside these. So yeah, so it's hi fis and it's TVs, and aliens, obviously, there's the fucking... Oh. Them tennis balls, man. But I don't see anything here that Sega would probably sell. There's no, like, Mega Drive, Master System, Game Gears, and... There's not even any of their stupid... The things that they do these days where they predominantly make crap Mario games. Uh, crap Mario games? Crap Sonic games. And... Claw machines. In arcades. And the really annoyingly difficult ones as well. Particularly the really annoying difficult ones. Because they're the ones that are Japanese. Where it's just like... We'll take your money. Because you really, really want... In fact, they're not made for soft toys, are they? They're not, not made for plushies, they're generally made for boxes. Um, because... I'm sure some of the grab games over in Japan have, like, anime figures in them, because Sega makes a lot of anime figures. Since I... 
I have a fair few saved ones. Mission 5, save the laboratory. See, that's kind of funny to me, because I call the toilet the laboratory. So we've got to go save the toilet now. I remember this. That one's definitely an alien. <laughs> He's got green skin. How did he blend? think he was blended in? Oh yeah, there's, you know, some of them have green skin. This is that gremlin chilling upstairs. Chips chilling upstairs, chilling up. Damn you, gremlin, for distracting me, so you fleshy. It, it's like that. It, it's kind of like the spawn of the thing from Devilman that he fights in the sewer. It is Devilman? Yeah, it's Devilman. Because his mum's face is on the, uh, the, the, the turtle shot. That's a pretty. Horrific moment. I mean, there's a pretty horrific anime, like the the, the 2000 movie or whatever it's called, the the um, the apocalypse of Devil Man or whatever it was called, where he just completely goes over because uh, gets found out that uh, he's a Devil Man or whatever, or and is is. Uh, his home gets burnt to the ground and he comes back to find his main love interest's head just on the spike. Just there, bleeding on a spike, and he proceeds to lose his mind, as you would if you're the girl that you love has been decapitated, along with all of her family. And, you know, pretty much all of your friends. It's, it's not really what you want. Uh, especially when you're Satan's general. Or have the powers of it. So this is a laboratory that specialises in just keeping brains in jars. Cool, good work, guys. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work of making yellow brains. Custard brains? Could be. But anyway, Devil Man. Uh, I remember watching, starting to watch it with my girlfriend. The uh, Apocalypse of Devil Man the movie, and there's a bit right at the beginning where uh, there's some of these people that have con the powers of devils, uh, demons, uh, fighting some demons, uh, and there's a bit the the demon grabs this girl. Uh, you think that the girl's won, but then the demon comes back, grabs her, and literally just tears her in half. There's like a few tugs on her legs and then just rips her in half and I think after one tug my girlfriend was like no no turn this turn this off turn this off I do not want to see this <laughs> um, one of my friends has a devil man statue that what the fuck is that weird little kid that just threw me off threw me off completely some weird Another one from the line. It's like, yay, it's my turn! Oh shit. I think we're gonna die in a minute. And that's gonna be it. Oh shit. These things. They're not fun. They're not good. Nothing about them is cool. They're just annoying fart monsters. Fart plants. Like alien fart plants. I call them the alien fart plants. Because that is basically what they do. Look, alien farts. Go near them, they fart. Alien farts. Alien farts. Oh god. I'm dead, guys. I'm really dead now. <laughs> I. It would probably be ironic if I got finished. Yeah, and you probably get finished by the fart gas. The fart gas always finishes you. Yeah. 